If two quantities are inversely proportioned to one another, then as one thing increases, the other thing decreases. A typical graph would look like this. Now you could think of moving away from a lysis. As the distance from the lysis increases, then the brightness of the light scene decreases. So let's see an example for this. Now here we have a question, why is, proportion, is inversely proportional to x? Now the two quantities here are y and x. And then we need to work at an equation connecting the x and y, and then work at the value of y when x is 10. So let's begin with the first line. y, okay, y is inversely proportional to x. So this is how you write it. Next, you swap this sign with an equals and a k. So this is going to be y is equals, they put a k and the x. Now, we know that when x is 2, y is 6. So I'm going to substitute those pairs here and here to get the constant k. So y is 6 equals k, the constant, and then divide this by x, and x is 2. Now, you can see we can now calculate the value for k because 2 will multiply 6 or multiply 2 on both sides. So k will be 2 times 6, and that's going to give you 12. Now, this value k, I will substitute here in this equation. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is to show an arrow here. All right, so I'm going to substitute k with 12. Okay, so this is going to be y is equals k and k is 12 divided by x. Now, this is equation connecting y and x. Now, I'm going to put a color here just to, for emphasis. So the first part has been done, and that's this. Now, the second part says um, we should work out the value of y when x is 10. And that we can do very easy using this connecting equation. Then I can say y is equal to 12 over x. But I know that x is 10. So if I work out 12 divided by 10, this definitely going to give me in decimal 1.2. So the value of y when x is 10 is 1.2. Okay, so we can really show that. So this is done. So let's move on to the next question. Now, if you look at this question, you will immediately recognize that uh, we, we are not asked to calculate the connecting equation when x, okay? Okay, we just said go straight and find the value of y when x is 4. But nonetheless, you still need to calculate the equation connecting y and x because that is very important. So, let's begin. With the first line, we know that y is inversely proportional to x. So, I can write it this way. y is inversely proportional to x. Next, I swap this sign with an equals and then k. So this is going to be y is equals, and I put the k over x. This is an important equation. We will use it to find the value of k when x is 2, y is 6. So substituting y is 6 equal k, the constant, divided by x, and x is 2. Now you can see that we can really uh, multiply 2 on both sides to get k. So k is going to be 2 times 6. Definitely, k is going to give you 12. So what we're going to do is to take this value of k and substitute in this equation for k. So I'm going to draw a line for emphasis. Good. So what I'm going to do is to take the value for k and substitute here in this equation. So we have y is equals to k, and k is 12, 12 divided by x. Now, that is the equation connecting y and x. And that is very, very important, because we will need it to calculate the value of y when x is 4. So, going back to the next question, so y, because we're looking for value of y, so value for y will be 12 over x, 
and we know x here is 4. So do 12 divided by 4, definitely y is going to give you 3. Now, this is the connect equation. This is actually the value of y when x is 3. So we can mark it correct. So the answer is y is equal to what? 3.